Hello, my darlings. Welcome to a new Pick a Card reading. Today, we're going to be going deep on what does their heart want to tell you? So that special person that you are watching this reading for, whether it's your twin flame, your soulmate, your beloved, your crush, what does their heart really want you to know? So if you're new to this channel, welcome. I am Dr. V. It's my absolute passion and purpose to be here doing these readings for you. Want to give a big virtual hug to all of our new subscribers, as well as to everyone who's already part of this beautiful Live Tarot family. Thank you for your continuing love and support. And if these readings resonate for you, make sure you do hit that subscribe. Join us. We are a very fun bunch here. <laughs> and make sure you also turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my future readings. Now, before I get into your card choices, I have an exciting announcement. The Blessed Twin Flame Necklace is back in stock. And I am so excited to share a couple of updates here. So we now have two beautiful color options, whereas before we only had the black and gold. So now I'm so excited to share that what we've done is we have done two things. We've added a beautiful new color, which is like an ivory, like a pale ivory and gold color. So if you look, oops, <laughs> look a little closer here, it is a pale, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get the camera to focus here. There you go. So this is a pale, um, a beautiful pale kind of uh, off-white ivory color with gold. And then this is our normal black and gold color. So this is the normal black and gold color right here. So this is more of a link chain, which is different than the chain that we had before. Also, the chains are a bit longer, so you can double them up as well. So if you'd like to have that layered double look, you can do that as well. So I am so proud of these beautiful necklaces. Thank you so much to everyone who's already ordered one and left incredible reviews. You can see those on our website. You can also see them in our in my Etsy shop. You can order this from Etsy or from our website. I don't have, just to let you know, I don't have this one specifically different like in like a, like with different photographs and everything quite up yet so what you can do is when you order you can just specify which one that you want right you can just say i want the black or i want the off-white or the ivory whichever way you want to say it but these two are very special because what i do is they are called twin flame blessed necklaces because i choose each one has a different design on the inside so each one within the heart has a different design. And so I choose one for you and I place it in my altar where I've been praying and meditating for over 15 years now. I infuse it with high vibrations, deep blessings from spirit so that when you feel it, you feel that connection. And then I send it to you with a handwritten personalized card and these cards actually change depending on when I run out of them, right? Um, with a very specific affirmation that I choose for you from my Twin Flame Affirmations deck that's going to help to keep you in high vibe, whether you are trying to attract your person to your life or whether you are seeking union or reunion with that special person. So you can also personalize it and include your person's name as well. So that's what all of that includes. I'm so excited that these are back in stock. And like I said, the links are in the box below. You can order them from my Etsy shop or from the website. 
All right, so let's dive right into your card choices. So you can pick group number one, group number two, group number three, or you can pick all of them and take the messages that resonate for you and your situation. So please do be gentle with yourself. This is a general reading. Not everything may resonate. But if you'd like to have specific guidance on your very unique and special connection, you can also have a personal reading with me. Or you can order any of the oracle decks that I have created and will be using in this reading. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath and meditate and see which of these you feel most intuitive guided to. So for group number one, we have the Queen of Earth. For group number two, we have Strength. And for group number three, we have Chariot. Okay, so go ahead and make your selection and we will get started here with the Queen of Earth. My beautiful group one that chose the Queen of Earth. Here is your reading. Let's take a look at what does their heart want to tell you. So Spirit, please give us your best guidance for group number one. What does their heart want to tell you? We have the Nine of Pentacles. Wow, we have the Tower. does their heart want to tell you? And we have the Prince of Cups, which is the Knight of Cups. Okay. So what I'm feeling here, the first thing that they really want to tell you is there's an apology coming through here in terms of what they wish to say from their heart. Something's happened here with that tower coming through as this central energy. Something happened very abruptly. I feel like this person may have just ghosted you or left you very abruptly. There's something here where they have stopped communicating. They they have left you alone. You know, and it may have come out of nowhere. It may have been something that you didn't see coming. So there is a tremendous amount of solitude that this person is going through right now. They feel very lonely. They feel very lost. Uh, they feel very remorseful and regretful that they left you. I do feel a very strong, you know, ghosting or leaving energy. Um, for some of you, it might have been very gradual, like, you know, it became like less and less contact and then it became no contact whatsoever. Or for others of you, it was very abrupt, like one day they were talking, the next day they were not. So something has happened here. Now something, and I feel like they didn't stop talking to you or communicating with you because of you. For many of you, something has happened in this person's life. Something changed. Something shifted very abruptly in this person's life. The tower just came down. There was something here. Now, take this as it resonates. For some of you, this is a third party. I'm also feeling. For some of you, I feel like, and this is, again, very not everyone. For some of you, I feel like there was a third party situation here. Either you or this person or both of you are in other relationships. For some of you, it's even you or both of you are married, but very unhappy. So I feel that for some of you, the other person, the spouse found out, okay, found out about this connection or your person told their spouse about this connection. Um, there's something here again, Take it as it resonates. That's not for everybody. But I feel like whoever this third party is, they found out either either by accident or by intention. Okay, Either your person told them or they found out by accident. And that is why right now you, this person has stepped away. 
For others of you, it's not a third party situation, but there's still something that happened here that made them step away or ghost or just um, stop communicating with you. So what their heart wants to tell you is how sorry they are, how much in pain they are for what they've done for, or what they've had to do in this moment right now. They know that you are a very strong person with this Nine of Pentacles energy. It's like, it's like their heart wants to tell you that they are so sorry and that they admire you so much for what an incredible smart person you are for the love that you've given them and for the for everything you offer to them because i feel like you offered this person a lot of love nurturing and stability this nine of pentacles is not an easy place to get to and i feel like this is how your person sees you okay like they see you as somebody who has really worked hard hustled hard and done so much to have a really beautiful life and they feel almost like a sense of shame that they could not share this life with you or they they haven't so far been able to but they want to so i feel like there's something here where they have put you on a pedestal where they think very very highly of you they have tremendous amount of care and respect for you but they also feel like they are not good enough for you as in they cannot meet you here okay for some of you this person has stepped away from you because they don't have their shit together the way you do nine of pentacles is really the card of having your stuff together like knowing who you are having goals um, being successful in how you define success not the way society or the world defines success but what success and happiness means to you so i do feel that this person really wishes that they could tell you from the bottom of their heart like how much they admire you and at the si same time how much they feel that they cannot meet you here that they just don't have their shit together. So either they don't have their stuff together because they are otherwise involved with somebody else and have not been able to get out of that, or they just don't have their stuff together financially. For some of you, I feel like this person is struggling right now. They're struggling with their path in life. They may not have the finances. I feel like for some of you, it is a very specific message coming through. It's almost like they don't even like they don't even feel like they are financially um, that they feel that they are financially set enough to even have a serious relationship because oftentimes, I mean, a serious relationship is also a financial commitment. Like, you know, we want to go out, we want to have fun. We want to do fun things. We want to go on dates. We want to travel, right? Like these are the things we love to do when we have a partner. And sometimes people are not financially in a position to offer that as well. Okay, so for some of you, I feel like your person, and again, I'm getting some very interesting energies here. For some of you, I feel like maybe you paid for a lot, like you are, are better off financially than this person. And you are happy to kind of, you know, pay for dates or pay for things as this person was getting back on their feet. Maybe they've had some sort of a financial uh, loss or maybe they're between jobs or maybe their business isn't doing too well and you are you're doing well so you are okay with that but I feel like to add a, to a certain extent your person was okay with that in the beginning but now it's like they're feeling more and more ashamed or embarrassed that like they, they want to be in a better place financially they want to be able to be your equal partner and perhaps that was not happening okay so the other thing that they want to say from their um, heart what they want to tell you is that they so much want to offer you this love this is the Knight of Cups. It is definitely a slower moving energy because I feel like this person is definitely trying to get their life together. They're trying to get their life, their finances and everything together for you. They want to come back to you with an offer. They want to offer you their cup of love. But with that cup of love, they also want to offer you some stability. OK, they don't have that stability at this time. That's what this Towers energy is also all about. Like they just don't feel that they are either financially, emotionally, or in any way stable enough to meet you as an equal partner. Okay. But they do love you. See, they see, they want to have a new life with you. Um, they very much want to right now, see, they're focusing on their priorities and their priorities are to get their life together. Okay. 
that is their main priority at this time. They really very much need and want to get their life together because they see you as their soulmate. Look at this beautiful soulmates card. I love it. It's so gorgeous, right? Look how beautiful this is. Such a beautiful card of the feelings that they have, right? The the love that they share, how they see the two of you. It's really, really special. They know that what you have is incredibly special. And they've realized also that they need to make um, this a priority, that they need to make this connection a priority. But before they can even do that, they feel like they need to get their priorities straight in terms of what they can offer you. Okay, so group one, I do feel that this reading in terms of what their heart wants to tell you is very much about somebody who is embarrassed, doesn't feel their own self-worth right now. And it doesn't mean that they're always going to be like this, but I feel like they are going through a difficult cycle right now where they do feel like they are not good enough for you. Like they need to get their priorities in order. They need to get their finances, their work, what they can give to you um, in order. You know, like they, they don't know how to be your equal partner right now. And they don't want to, they don't want to take, feel like they're taking advantage of you or they don't want you to continue to be paying or you continuing to be the person who does everything in the relationship. They want to come to you. Look at this beautiful new beginnings, begin your new life. See, they want to come to you from a different energy. They want to come to you from a different place. They want to come to you from a place where they feel good about themselves, where they feel that they have something solid to offer to you. And they feel like they are not less than, okay? And it's not like you make them feel like they are less than. They themselves feel less than. That is why I feel like they are also going to be asking you for forgiveness. Because look at this beautiful Master Jesus, forgiveness. You are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. So I feel like they, you know, if they have abruptly ended this or if they have stepped away from this, it is it is something that they are going to ask your forgiveness for, okay? Because they know and they realize that they have been hurtful in this manner, that it wasn't right of them to do it this way. Um, but I do feel that, again, part of the reason why they may have been silent about that is that level of maybe embarrassment, um, that level of, you know, just not knowing how to explain to you that they are not where they want to be and that they can't offer you the things that they do wish to offer you. So let's get some specific messages from that part. And I'd really appreciate it if you could give this video a like, a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It's absolutely free to you, but it is very powerful for me. It literally helps me. Single mom here put her kids through school. I have two boys and we are all just so grateful to you for your support. I'm sorry for putting, see, there you go. I'm sorry for putting you in a third party situation. I'm miserable, but I don't have the courage to leave. There you have it. See, I said there's something here about a third party situation for some of you. Okay, so I feel like that's a confirmation from spirit of what is going on there for sure. I've never met someone like you. You're special. Please have patience with me because I'm still learning. Yeah, see? So this is why I'm saying this person is definitely working on their priorities. Like you are a priority, but I feel like even before that, they need to get their stuff together. They still need to be able to come to you with that Prince of Cups energy with a real offer. I'm sorry I betrayed your trust. I turned my back on you when you needed me the most, see? So again, I feel like there is a sense of deep remorse. There is a sense of asking for forgiveness. Um, there's a sense of with this tower's energy, I really screwed this up because of my own pride, because I was too embarrassed to reveal, you know, what I'm really going through. It was easier to step away or to be silent. 
you know, or to stop communicating than to say, hey, I'm struggling with money. I'm struggling with who I am. I'm struggling with a third party situation. I just don't have the courage. I'm struggling with stepping up to this, you know, and and you being, you know, who you are totally stepping up, right? There's a difference between them stepping up and you stepping up. And it's like they know that they need to step up at the same level that you have been stepping up. See? So the other thing they want to tell you is that meeting you has been a very sacred journey. Meeting you, see, this is where I feel like you have definitely, group one, inspired this person. Because I feel like as much as they feel that they are not yet at the same place as you, perhaps emotionally, materially, you know, in many ways, I feel like you have still been an inspiration to them as in you, the fact that you are who you are has inspired them on their own sacred journey of becoming a better person, of stepping into their own greatness, of getting their shit together, right? So I feel like that's really important to them. And I feel like they want you to know how important you are. There you go. See? So I feel that this person, and we've seen it throughout this, they want to make a commitment to you. They want to give you an offer that is solid. Okay? So this goes for those of you who are in third-party situations as well as not in third-party situations. This person needs to get that they want to tell you from their heart that they are want to get their act together. They want to get their affairs in order. They want to get their life in order so that they can make you a solid offer. Wow. So they can be your equal partner, whether that is marriage or whatever commitment is for the two of you. Okay. So they are struggling. See, so I feel like so far in the past, if they have with this towers energy, the reason why they stepped away is because they had that split energy. They couldn't decide what it is they actually want to do, especially I feel like with the split energy to me, that's especially for those of you who are in third party situations where they just didn't know which way to go. But I feel like they are definitely through this. If you are in separation or struggle, they are definitely coming out of that split energy on this journey of bettering themselves. Okay. This split energy is on its way out because they are prioritizing. You are their soulmate. They want that new beginning, right? And that forgiveness is definitely there. They want to ask you for that. Beautiful. Let me know what you thought in the comment box below. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me, or order any of the oracle decks that I have created and used in this reading. All of the links are in the box below. And if you missed my announcement in the beginning, that's why I have these here, are the twin flame necklaces are back in stock. And if you want to learn more about them, go back to the introduction. But I'm very excited because we have two options now for you, a black and gold and an ivory and gold option. So if you want to learn more and see them more closely, go back to the intro if you missed it. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you all on the next one. My beautiful group two that chose strength. Let's take a look at what does their heart want to tell you. So for our beautiful group two spirit, please give us your best guidance. What does their heart want to tell you. We have the moon. We have the four of cups. Hmm, interesting.
Wow, and we have the Four of Pentacles. Oh, big energy here. Okay, <laughs> two fours, Four of Cups and Four of Pentacles. The more difficult, um, definitely the more difficult energies. So interesting, similar to Group One. The first thing I'm feeling here is a definite sense of remorse, a definite sense of longing, um, disappointment, um, almost like kicking themselves. You know, when we, sometimes when we behave in ways that we realize were wrong and there was something within us that we just couldn't resist. You know how like sometimes people are their own worst enemies where it's like they know what they're doing is wrong. They know they're not doing something right. They know, but still it just happens because of their own blocks, because of their own issues. And then even after they behave that way, they kick themselves. They're like, what was I thinking? Why? I mean, I knew I should not have done that. This is this four of cups energy I'm getting here as the central energy in terms of what your heart, what their heart wants to tell you is like, they literally are saying, I knew I shouldn't have done that. I knew I shouldn't have said those things. I knew I shouldn't have done those things. I don't understand why I did it anyway. I don't understand what is wrong with me. I, I, I don't know. I'm getting a very strong energy here, group two, of this whole, I don't know what the heck is wrong with me. Why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep sabotaging myself? I feel like your person definitely has issues of self-sabotage that they do need to work on. Um, with this four of cups becoming coming through as their central energy it's almost like I feel like they are um, they can be very closed off from their emotions again that four of pentacles with that four of cups these two fours it's like the stability that they need is often not there Okay, because the fours are about trying to establish stability, having a strong foundation. This is both a, a, a financial foundation and this is an emotional foundation. So your person may struggle with both of these things, right? Like they feel like they always struggle financially and they always struggle with their emotions. There's a lot of confusion, okay? I, I really do feel that the main challenge that your person is facing and what the universe really wants them to finally get on their feet about is knowing what they want. Okay. With this moon's energy, I just feel like your person, you know, they have, they're a good person. They mean well, they're not at all like trying to hurt anybody or they don't have bad intentions. It's just, they just can't seem to figure out what it is that they want. And because they're so unclear on what they want, they're always emotionally and financially struggling. You know, they're always struggling to keep up. They always feel like they're behind. You know, either they're behind on their rent or they're behind on their bills or they're behind on their, you know, you know, behind on any financial related topic. And they are kind of sometimes disconnected emotionally. So again, I feel like this person has good intentions. They're a good person. Their challenge right now and what they really need and want you to know from their heart is that they need to get clear on what it is that they want because the issue here is not their emotions for you. Their issue here is why are their emotions cut off just like that? You know, so I feel like what they want to tell you from their heart is that they really do struggle with security. Like they struggle with being emotionally secure. They struggle with being financially secure. They tend to be all over the place sometimes. There's a definite scattered energy here, right? Um, they, they are embarrassed. And it's interesting because I do feel that that is a similar energy to what group one got. Is that a sense of embarrassment about why they just can't get the foundation set, you know, why are they still kind of very scattered energy? Why can they not get themselves to a more stable place? This person really lacks stability. But the good news is, is that they do, do want stability, right? And because of that, they tend to be a bit selfish. Like, I feel like they're, um, sometimes they just disappear. 
Sometimes they don't want to share their energy. They can be a little bit selfish. They can be a little bit hoarding. Um, they can hoard their attention like they might not want to give you or this connection the kind of attention it deserves because they're just so distracted by their own problems. So I feel like this person really does lack the kind of emotional and um, material world stability that is necessary to be a great partner and they are really trying to work through their confusion around that and they're trying to gain some clarity about who they really are and what they want because until they get clarity about who they are and what they want they can't really be and they've realized that they can't really even um, be the kind of partner that you deserve See, this is the thing. I feel like they also want to tell you from their heart, like they're secretly hoping that you would have more patience with them. Although they do know that they've been trying your patience. See, you are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. So I do feel that they're secretly hoping and secretly wanting to tell you from their heart. Can you have some patience with me? I know I'm a mess. Okay, like this is the energy I'm getting. I know I'm a mess. I know that I have screwed up a lot of stuff in my life. I know that I should be far ahead of where I am. I know I'm behind in life, but I'm secretly hoping that you would have patience with that because I do love you and I do want to be with you, but I tend to be a bit of a mess. Okay, so I feel like the other thing here that they are also wanting to tell you from their heart is that they're trying to be more resilient, right? Rise above tribulations. I feel like they do struggle. So I feel like this person, like I said, while they have good intentions and they do truly love and care for you, they struggle when challenges come. Okay, so like they're not the best at handling problems. They're not the best at solving challenges you know it definitely takes them longer it definitely becomes like a mental and emotional strain on them and they definitely with that moon's energy they definitely can get confused a little bit more easily right like they need to they know and they realize that they need to get with the program when it comes to being a bit more resilient um being more creative in the way they solve problems and being open to feedback I feel like sometimes maybe they're not as open to feedback or as open to guidance from others as they could be. So they're really kind of needing to flex that muscle of resilience, right? Like they need to kind of really get on top of being able to solve problems on their own, as well as being able to solve problems with you as a couple. So you may notice that this person may be the kind that struggles sometimes with um, problem solving. They may struggle sometimes also problem solving as a couple. So this is why I feel like they have really had a big um, uh, eye-opening or light bulb moment. So I feel that if you guys have been in struggle or separation, this has been a light bulb moment for them. They realize that they are at a fork in the road, which means that it's time for them to step up or get out like you know like they realize the moment has come so in their heart what they really want to tell you is that they are very serious about knowing that if they don't step up they will lose you okay like they like this is it the fork in the road is the indication that this is their last opportunity to prove their themselves, to prove that they're in this, that they are willing to step up, that no more excuses, no more being selfish, no more being, you know, scattered or confused. They know that it's a now or never moment. Okay, so look at this, the divine director, intervention and purpose. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Guided happiness is your purpose. So I feel like your person is definitely, didn't I say like the universe is challenging them now to find their purpose in life and in this connection with you, to feel that there is a purpose here, that there is a direction that they're going in, that they are not just scattered and that they are being guided to stepping it up. Because I do feel, group two, that your entire reading here for your person is that in their heart, they are embarrassed, but they do want to tell you that they realize that the time is now to step 
up. It is now. It is a now or never moment. They have really kind of dilly dallied for way too long, right? They have let their obstacles, their blocks, their confusions get in the way of this connection and their own personal growth, the growth of this love, the growth of this connection and their own individual growth. They have let it get in the way. So they now know in their heart that this is it, their final opportunity to make things right. So let's get some specific messages. And I'd really appreciate it if you could take one second right now to give this video a thumbs up, a like, and also subscribe if you haven't already. It's absolutely free. Why wouldn't you do it? <laughs> it's absolutely free and you have no idea how powerful it is. It literally helps me put my kids through school. So I have two boys and uh, they're very aware of everything I do, what my passion is, my purpose is, and they just want you to know that they really appreciate your support as I do. Oh, this one flew out. I'm tortured by visions of the life we almost had. We could have been so happy together and I destroyed it, okay? So this is for those of you who there's definitely been some sort of a separation where you just maybe had enough, right? You felt like you could have had this amazing life if they could just get it together, but maybe they did not get it together. I want you to believe in me again. I know that I must take full responsibility for my actions. I will earn your trust again. So again, see, I feel like all of these messages group two, aren't they very much in alignment with this idea of like them just not taking responsibility? To me, this four of cups and four of pentacles combination is also that combination of somebody not having the clarity to take responsibility for their actions. I've lost faith that real love exists. People have lied to and cheated on me. I'm afraid to open my heart now. So that might be one of the reasons why this person, you know, this might be one of the reasons why they're in this moon's energy. Maybe they've had a lot of, you know, traumas in their past that they still need to heal from. And perhaps they have been obstructing their own healing process because it really does bring out those painful memories, right? And sometimes it is easier it is easier to stay in this, I am going to just lock myself away from true emotions. I'm going to keep myself very selfish in my energy. I'm going to keep myself in the delusion of the moon because it's easier to do that than to feel the pain of dealing with my bullshit, right? Because that is painful. The healing process is painful. So I feel like for some of you, this is why your person has been stuck. So what else does their heart want to tell you, group two? They want to say yes to you, okay? Like for, for how they feel about you is very clear. It is a big, big yes. Although they feel that they have let you down, right? That they have disappointed you, that they haven't really lived up to what you deserve. So this is why I'm saying like, it's like they secretly wish that you had patience for their transformation because they do want to change. Okay. They do know that they need to step it up. Breakthrough reinvention. You're ready for the next level. Like they really want to transform. They are a big yes in terms of them loving you, wanting to be with you, wanting to change, wanting to come out of this energy. So that's very encouraging. Yeah, see, so they are, it's interesting. This has come from the, I've lost faith that real love exists right underneath. We're getting memories. So remember I said, I feel like for some of you, this person can't get their stuff together because they are haunted by some sort of memories or bad experiences or traumas from the past. Okay. So for them, this is going to be a journey of healing from that past. I feel like it has nothing to do with you. So these behaviors or these actions are really about them and where they are on that journey of healing from the traumas of the past. But I do feel that they really love you and that they want that transformation. Like they know that it's time to step up and they really want to do that for you. So that's what they want you to know from their heart. So let me know what you 
thought in the comment box below if you'd like to have a personal reading with me or order any of the oracle decks that I've created and used in this reading. Or if you'd like to order the brand new Blessed Twin Flame Necklace, I have them both right here. I'm so excited. We have two colors now. We have the uh, black and gold and we have the ivory and gold that's why I have them here for you with a brand new chain that is longer so you can double it up or layer it and if you'd like more information I talked more about it in the introduction to this video so everything is always linked in the uh, box below you can get all of these things at my website or my Etsy shop thank you so much for being here I'll see you all on the next one my beautiful group three that chose the chariot. Let's take a look at what does their heart want to tell you. So for our beautiful group three spirit. Please give us your best guidance. What does their heart want to tell you? We have the world. Oh, beautiful, the lovers. Mm -hmm. I love seeing that. And we have the Five of Pentacles. Ooh, somebody is feeling like they have been left out in the cold here from your love. Oh my gosh. So the first energy I'm getting with what their heart wants to tell you that is so clear. Look at this passion. Wow. Look at this. This is what they want. Ooh, I love it. I love it. It is so passionate. It is so beautiful. Their heart wants to tell you that they want to be with you, mind, body, spirit, physically, especially physically, it seems. <laughs> so I feel for some of you, there may be some sort of a long distance relationship here where you guys have not been able to physically be together, to literally see each other, hold each other, be together. So I feel like this is going to be something that is really important as a next step in this connection. So take that as it resonates for some of you who are in, you know, a physically long distance relationship relationship. So this person, they very much want to be able to experience you in person. Okay. They, they want to be able to, um, at least in the near future, travel to you. See, this is why I feel like with this world card, there's definitely some of you who are in various places in the world, right? So I feel like your person is really missing you at this time. Um, especially for many people around the world, the holidays are coming up, right? Christmas, Hanukkah, you know, Kwanzaa, all of the beautiful holidays season is coming up for many, many people in the world. And I feel like um, for those of you who are physically distant, there is a definite sadness that your person feels like they just wish that they could be with you during the holidays. Um, I also feel for some of you who are in third party situations because we're getting this five of pentacles energy. So I do feel that some of you, it, it may not be that you are geographically distant. You just may be actually having to be distant from one another because you are, you know, trying to deal with some sort of a third party situation. Now, it doesn't have to be romantic. So I feel like for some of you, there may be some obstacle here that is either related to family, to other obligations, other responsibilities. There might be toxic people or toxic situations that are keeping the two of you apart at this time. So what your person really does want to say 
or what their heart wants to tell you is that it is breaking their heart to be in this five of pentacles energy as in they feel like they have been left out in the cold like they are just not able to access you at this time like they are um, not able to physically be with you they may not be able to contact you for some of you who are in a third party but it's romantic situation where you might be in relationships with other people either both of you or one of you this person right now has had to step away because they are um, not able to communicate with you okay like they are in some other situation where they are unable to actually come out and say something to you so they are feeling right now like they are longing for you very much they're longing for your presence they're longing to be near you close to you but they are very much struggling with lack of access to you at this time whether it's geographical or third party now there's something here also with the world's energy where it feels like something has ended here so for some of you there's been a separation your person also wants to let you know that they feel like their world is very empty without you there's a sense a deep sense of loss there's a sense of loneliness. There's a sense of despair. Even if they are with somebody else, I'm also feeling that even if they're with somebody else or the third party is just like family, like, you know, like even though they're surrounded by people, this person may come from a large family or they may have a lot of other people in their life. They still feel very alone within that. Okay, so if you've been seeing on social media that they are like, you know, like you see a lot of like events or like, you know, they're around a lot of people or they're posting pictures of them in groups of people with other people. It Just know that even though they're posting that, they are inside feeling alone in the crowd. Okay, that's the energy I'm getting alone in the crowd. You know how sometimes you're in a crowd and yet you feel totally alone and misunderstood. You feel like you're just going through the motions. You're just playing a role. That's how I feel your person feels right now. It's almost like they would much rather be just the two of you together alone than to be in this crowd that they seem to be in in the world. Okay, so they they feel very unfulfilled. Okay, so they may have other responsibilities. They may have a group of people around them. But within all of that, they still feel unfulfilled. They still feel alone or lonely within that. Okay, that's the other thing that their heart wants to tell you. That they feel very, very like, you know, alone, cold, frozen out, that kind of energy. So what else does their heart want to tell you? Wow. Okay, so what I find very interesting about this is that we're getting this energy of your person needing and wanting to make this connection, make their love for you a part of their true priority in life. I feel like they do struggle with self-love. Like this may be somebody who puts a lot of other people over their own happiness. So they may have like, you know, toxic parents or parental figures or toxic family, or they may be, they may feel, or they may even have a toxic spouse or somebody that they're in a committed relationship, but, but they are not happy, but they are very much tied to the responsibilities of that situation. And because of that, they are putting those people first and they are not actually asking themselves what can they do to love themselves more. They're not actually putting their own happiness as a priority at this time. And part of that may be because they lack self-love. They lack self-esteem or self-awareness you know, awareness or worthiness. So they kind of always put like, when other people are happy, I am happy. When these people around them, whether they deserve it or not, maybe you know, for some of you, these people might be toxic. These people might have a lot of um, uh, expectations of your person. And so your person definitely, you know, knows and is realizing that they may be needing to practice more self-love. You realize that love of self is necessary to love another. Okay, so they are very much into 
selfless acts of service maybe to other people maybe that's how they were raised maybe they're just very like focused on okay i need to do this this and this for other people but they really do suffer with um not really prioritizing their own self-love or their own um happiness they go with the flow and let things happen but i feel like oftentimes in in most situations, this is actually a good thing, but I feel like in your person specifically group three, that this has actually worked against them. They a little bit go with the flow too much. So I feel like your person, they are, one of the things that they their heart wants to tell you is that they're realizing that maybe it's time for them to stand up for themselves. Maybe they have let things happen or go with the flow too much because I feel like maybe this person also um, is not good at conflict. Like they avoid conflict, so they don't like confrontations. They don't like conflict, so they maybe tend to please other people. They let things happen. They just go with it, and they, they and so what they do is that they don't focus on their own needs. They go with the flow of other people's needs. And for that reason, they may have become a bit of a people pleaser. So this let things happen, go with the flow is actually working against them. And so what they want you to know is that they've realized that perhaps it's time to take a stand. Perhaps going with the flow has not served them you know, and has not served this relationship, this connection with you. So this is why I think they're starting to ask themselves the question, why? And this is important. I think they're asking themselves, I think they're going through a, an awakening process where they're asking themselves, why have I let people take advantage of me? You know, why have I let things just kind of happen? Why have I not taken a stand for myself and for this love? Why have I not done what needs to be done for the two of us to be together, to truly be together, whether it's a geographic um, separation, whether like you guys are geographically separated or whether it's a third party separation. It's like they're at finally asking the right questions, the question of why, okay? Why have they not done more? Why have they not stepped up more? And that's a really important thing to ask, right? And see, we're getting Lady Nada Heart Awakening. Awaken to acceptance and divine love. Give and receive in balance. So see, this is the thing. I think your person also wants to tell you from their heart that they've realized that they haven't really balanced their life as in they've let their um desire to make other people happy or desire to not have confrontations or not have problems with people they've let that bring them out of balance that you know what they can practice self-love they can receive they don't have to just keep giving 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 to other people and not receiving and now it's time to give to you and this connection equally and bring this connection back into balance by asking themselves, you know, why are they not loving themselves enough to do that? Why are they not prioritizing themselves and their connection with you? So let's get some specific messages from their heart in terms of what they want to tell you. And I'd really appreciate it if you could take a second right now to give this video a thumbs up, a like, and please do subscribe if you haven't already. I mean, it is absolutely free <laughs> and you have no idea. It literally helps me a single mom put my kids through school. So I have two boys and they and I, all of us, just so deeply appreciate your support. It's too scary to admit that I'm in love with you. I've never felt love this deeply before. Do you feel the same way? See, lover's energy, see? So this is why I'm saying this person, they may be the kind of person who, you know, um, is so focused on other people's needs that it keeps them out of feeling that deep love. You know, it keeps them away from that deep sense of um, that deep sense of being able to open themselves up and be in love with you. Please give me a second chance. 
I still love you and want to start over. I want to share my life with you. Yeah. So see, I feel like, again, this person, for some of you, you might be in separation because this person just did not make this connection or this love a priority, right? Like they just were too focused on other people. I didn't believe in myself or in you. I let my low self-worth ruin our love. I want us to heal together. See, this is what I mean. So I feel like this has everything to do with that. What I said about the self-love, right? Like if you can't love yourself, if you don't have the priority, the priorities of wanting to be in a loving relationship and placing that before the distractions of other, other things in your life or other people who are making demands of you, of course, you're going to let that get in the way. So I do feel that this person is having a major awakening here, a major awakening. They're having a lot of realizations and it all is coming through from this final, this question of, okay, why have I done the things I've done? Why have I behaved in these ways or made these decisions that are taking me away from you instead of closer to you with this lover's energy. Yeah. So there's a divine timing. So they feel like they want to tell you from their heart that the time is now. Like they're understanding that they have wasted a lot of time by not by not really prioritizing this connection and they don't want to waste that time anymore. Yeah, they've been stuck. See? So I feel like see Third party block silence barrier shift your focus to clear the energy and I feel like that's exactly what they're doing. So I feel like they want you to know from their heart that they have been stuck. Yes, they admit that they've been stuck, but now they are becoming unstuck because the time is now the time is now to shift the energy to clear the energy, right? Because look, this just flew out. They feel very alone. Like I said. Didn't I say, oh my gosh, this, this reading has come full circle. I said in the beginning that even if you see this person on social media, posting pictures with groups of people, with lots of people around them, they still feel alone in the crowd because either they are separated from you or they are not connecting with you right now in the way that you both wish to connect, which is right here. Wow. So there's going to be a major shift here. This person is going through a major awakening and that's what they want. And well, that's what their heart really does want you to know. So if you'd like to have a personal reading with me or order any of the Oracle decks that I have created and used in this reading, the links are in the box below and very excited to announce if you missed the introduction that we now have two blessed twin flame necklaces available with a brand new longer chain so you can double it up and layer it. And now we have a black and gold as well as ivory and gold. So, so excited. If you want more information about this, go back to the introduction. Um, you can buy all of these items at my Etsy shop or at on my website. And you can see the tons of amazing reviews that we also have for these necklaces there. So thank you so much for being here. I'll see you all on the next one.